14. He is... He is... Well, mow me down. He's having his fortune told. Well, whatever we were doing, it's over now. What do you mean? The professor here was telling me some very interesting things when you crashed in and snapped him out of it. I don't believe it. I couldn't have told you anything. I don't even know what you're looking for. This is one of the things I'm looking for. And I found it without the help of your crystal ball. Under your mattress. You probably also put it there. The man I chased across your route put it there. Well, I... I don't know anything about it. I never saw it before. Maybe if we take him down to headquarters and put him in another trance, it'll refresh his memory. Just a minute. You boys better stay around until we send somebody up to fix the lock on his door. Right. This is Professor Starling, Tess. Take a good look and tell me if you ever saw him before. Of course you've never seen me before, have you? Tess. Look at me, Tess. Are you sure you never saw him before? I, I'm positive. Take him to headquarters. Have this checked by the medical examiner. We want to know if it's the weapon that killed Miss Stafford and Thomas. Okay, see you later. Let's go, Professor. Do you feel all right? Of course. Why? You acted like you were hypnotized. Oh, that's ridiculous. Say, who was that man, anyway? The professor? Uh-huh. He's a doctor of the mystic sciences and a darn good hypnotist. Well, do you think he's split face? You're the one to answer that. You saw split face and owns his hallway. Oh, but that horrible scarred face. Discount that. It could be a trick makeup job. Oh, well, then Owens, too, could be split face. Exactly. And we're going right back to the Paradise Club. What for? I'm going to make Judith Owens producer, Father, so you can get a look at him, too. You can bring our dinner now. Dinner? We are getting ready to close. Everybody in the kitchen is going home, but I can bring you some coffee if you wish. Let's have some. I'm so glad you're back. I've been trying to reach you at headquarters. Did you see anyone at the health tonight? Yes, but they saw us first. They got away. Oh, I'm so worried. I don't understand what's going on. Now Dad has disappeared. What makes you think so? Well, he hasn't come in all evening, and he's not at the house. Where was he supposed to go when he went out tonight? Uh, Dad likes to uh, gamble. Yes, he has a, a club uptown and, a, and an apartment. I suppose he was there last night, too? Maybe we should drop over there. Oh, no, 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 it wouldn't do any good. He, he left there at 9 o'clock to come here. That's what worries me. Well, remember to give me the address. I may look in there later anyway. Well, uh, if you'll excuse me, I, um, I'll go with you. Uh, my nose can stand a little poly, too. Oh, uh, but I was going to make a telephone call. Did you think of someplace else your father might be? No, no, I was uh, going to call some friends and... Make arrangements to stay the night with them until I heard from Dad. Until we know who Split Face is, you wouldn't be safe even with friends. Anyway, it won't be necessary to make a call because I'm taking you with me. I'm under arrest? Let's call it protective custody. But, but jail. I didn't say anything about jail. Where then? Maybe I can take you home with me. Well, how cozy. I've got a housekeeper who's also a good cook. And we'd better be going. Yes, because we'll have to stop by my place long enough for me to pack a bag. Pack a bag? You going someplace? Mm-hmm. I've had a hankering for some of Mrs. Carraway's good cooking. Besides, I wouldn't want Miss Owens to be lonesome. Well, I've looked through all the books, and I can't find a picture of the man that jumped out of Owens' closet. Forget it, page one of volume one, and go through them again. You'll have to stop and study each picture. Well, I did. But you can't expect to find a picture that looks exactly as he did last night. We might have one that was taken before he got that scar. Just had a call from the mayor. 
He says he doesn't remember ever meeting Stafford or Thomas and only knows Steve Owens vaguely as being a nightclub operator. You know, I think Owens is split face. Didn't Dick show you a picture of him? No, for the simple reason that there aren't any. Owens' daughter says he has an aversion to having pictures taken. Please, it's bad luck. Strange his disappearing right after Splitface jumped you in his house. It's strange how well his daughter's holding up. After all, she admits that he might be murdered. Hey, look. I found a surgical supply dealer who admits selling three of these to an undertaker on Pine Street. What would an undertaker want with a surgical instrument? They use them for postmortems. We better both go right out there. You stay with the pictures, Tess. Getting any split faces customers. Hey, maybe he's split face. Good afternoon. May I help you? Well, from the homicide squad. Oh, I'm sure there have been no irregularities. I have burial certificates. That's all right. I just want you to take a look at this. Oh. A dealer says it's one of three he sold you recently. Yes. Yes, I believe it is. Strange. They all disappeared soon after I bought them. Do you think one of your employees stole them? No, no. I have a small establishment and I do most of the work myself. Where did you keep the knives? I'll show you. I have as fine a collection of caskets as there is in the city. Well, congratulations. Uh, thank you. I do most of my work in here at night. And this door is frequently left open? Oh, yes. And I suppose if the telephone rings, you have to go into the front office to answer it, that right? Yes. That would make it pretty easy for anyone to wait until you were called to the front office, then slip in and steal the knives. Yes. Yes, it would. Now, this is where I kept the knives. Careless of me, perhaps, but one doesn't expect thieves in a place like this. It is a strange place for a murderer to come for a weapon. A murderer? Oh, dear me, I am sorry. Did you ever know a man who calls himself Spitface? No. I can't believe Splitface would come here only to obtain a weapon. What do you mean? Maybe you were number one on his list. And some lucky accident frightened him away when he came to kill you. Wait a minute. What about Professor Starling? Do you know him? Oh, no, but I read in the papers that one of the knives was found in his room. Isn't he the murderer? I don't know. Goodbye, Mr. Dethridge. I shall not speak except on advice of counsel. I hope you boys haven't been annoying the professor. <laughs> the shoe's on the other foot. He's got me ready to confess to anything. How long have they been questioning you? Time and space are beyond human conception. Leave him with me for a while. Right. Okay. Relax, Professor Starling. Those fellows mean well. They just get too enthusiastic. Might as well relax. Let you and I play a word game. We'll get our minds off this for a minute. Don't class me with the morons who usually fall into your net. I know all about your word games. You told us the truth, the word can't trip you? Come on, Professor. Two minutes of play and I promise you won't be bothered for the rest of the day. Go ahead if you think it'll get you anything. I'll say a word, then you speak the first word that comes into your mind. Light. Dark. Fish. Water. Snake. Grass. Hot. Cold. Table. Chair. Knife. Knife. Surgeon. Blood. Stain. Extortion. Letter. Man. Women. Deathridge. Deathridge. There's no such word. What does it suggest? Nothing. Thanks ever so much, Professor. You've helped me more than you realize. Take care of the Professor. And leave orders he's not to be disturbed again today. Right. I'm getting groggy, Dick. I've been through these books a half a dozen times. Then skip it. As soon as I've had a word with Pap, we'll go out to the house for dinner. did you get out of the path? Well, he tripped over the critical words like uh, knife, extortion, death ridge. 
I think he knows our undertaking friend. At least by name. Anyway, I'm going to bring them face to face. Do you want me to bring